Yo people, what is good? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is doing well. In today's video, I want to show you how to kind of simply make those ear candy beats for artists like Kendrick Lamar, uh, similar to the track Silent Hill on his new project. As soon as I heard it, this is just like the type of beats that got me in love with trap beats. They're just super kind of chill and have some really interesting kind of percussion and different drum effects. So I've made a beat, I'm going to deconstruct it for you, show you some effects I did to kind of achieve that kind of really kind of slow spaced out melody and take it from there. So that's what we're getting into. Before we get into the video, make sure you comment below, let me know which is your favorite track from the new Kendrick project, if you've listened to it. And obviously don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay up to date with all the producer content we're doing here and the producer community we're building here. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. I'll see you at my desk. Okay guys, so probably the first thing we want to address is that super chill style melody. So, while you're looking at the MIDI here, it looks kind of complex. I'm going to give it a play with you with all the effects on, and then I'm going to deconstruct and show you how I kind of came up with this progression. So as you can hear, there's effects on there, which we'll get into in a bit. I'm going to go into another Nexus here. Any guys wondering what preset I'm using? We're using the Rhodes Classic there. So, how I actually started out this was figuring out how many chords were in the progression. So for me, it was two. And I basically figured out that I wanted to go from the root note, which was D, to the fifth note of the lower octave, A. Next up, we went and added a chord pattern. So a tri-chord. And then... We started doing that. So we went. So I realized that was a sort of pattern, but it sounds nothing like what I just played you. So then what I figured out is you've got to invert some of these notes. Control up to take stuff up an octave and then start moving stuff along half a beat or a beat to let the notes be articulated individually. So for example, which already sounds a lot more like uh, Silent Hill in that style. So that's just a way you can go about doing it. You just nest, like basically inverting individual chords and also moving the playing time along so it's not all played at the same time but that's a good kind of basic way to kind of start going as you can see from the ghost notes we experiment with loads of different octaves so that's a great example of how you can kind of come up with the dreamy kind of chords but it still doesn't really sound like what I just played you. So I'm going to show you the exact effects chain I've used to kind of emulate that kind of slow, chill, wavy style. The first thing we added was a halftime. So just by adding halftime alone, this is how it sounded. smooth and that's like the main thing that kind of added that sort of dreamy effect then coming in we've obviously got an eq the reason for us having an eq is just basically we're gonna have drums in this so we need to clean it up a bit because you'll find with these halftime effects they add a lot of low end because they're pitching everything down a whole octave You can see I've just took some low mids and some lows. Finally, for this melody, we added a little bit of reverb there. So next up, what we actually did was we went ahead and rendered and replaced this pattern once we got the effects to everywhere we wanted. Reasoning being is I got that slowed feel and now I just wanted to use the audio 
and pitch one set up at the original pitch and then take another set basically by making the audio unique pitching it down 1200 so every 8 to 16 bars we're having to change in octave because the melody is so simple and then here we're gonna get that really nice switch So all in all, it just works out really well. And a great way to do this is just, say if you had this, you could click render and replace. That's gonna generate you your audio file. Then for the pitch down one, we just make it unique. Make sure we just double it over because it was a four bar loop. And then we just take it down 1200 or whatever we're taking it down. Um, so yeah, in terms of the melody, that's that. So next up, I wanted to touch on different percussive elements and why they're really important in beats like this. So I'm gonna play some of the percussion and sort of just show you some of the more important ones, like more unique effects. trying to do there is just emulate some kind of percussion that I heard in Silent Hill. You got the DG effects, the laser effects, the silencer, and we're just kind of putting them in as you'd put like a percussive element in, like say if it was like a wood block or something like after a snare, we're just trying to like kind of fit them in the pockets. So I'm going to take you through kind of just each one and then um, play it again in context. So this is the DJ sound we're using. So that's every four bars that's just coming in and sounding like someone's obviously on decks and um, just scratching that. Then obviously we got a snare, which is just straight simple. There's nothing unique about this. So now I'm just using advanced looping. So the more unique stuff here, we've got this silencer. So that's just really important for the uniqueness. With the hi-hats, we kept this just super simple. What I'm doing is just leaving a gap at the end of a two bar section, just to create a little bit of suspense. And then we've got a roll there using control U. So if you shift D, get it to half beat, control U, there you go, you're sweet. You can just literally just switch up the articulations how you want. And a couple of snares, we got a little counter snare here as well. Just hitting here every two bars comes out something like this so you can see how those DJ effects basically create that kind of like that pullback for then a new element to kind of come in and hit hard so I've also got a little laser that I add in this part here I think when you're trying to emulate these tracks, it's not about using the same sounds, it's about listening to how producers are using unique sounds and then repurposing them and doing them yourself. So next up, we came in with the Grande AOA from the Colors Drum Kit. And this is kind of how uh, the beat starts to really pick up. So I'm gonna just play you the loop with the bass so you can kind of get a feel for it. And I apologize, it's the Stomp 808 from the Phantom Drum Kit. So as you can see with the bass, we just follow the runo. And as you can see, it's still following the runo to the chords, regardless of the octave. It's nice and simple. Then when you start to bring in the other percussion, it really starts to fit really well. And that DJ effect is probably the most prominent thing that really adds that re-drop. So that sounded really nice. After that, I wanted to go in and add some extra stuff. So in here, we've got a kick in an open hat. So this is for pretty much every other eight bar section to just kind of make the beat feel like it's moving forward harder. 
Let's have a look at the kick pattern. That's just the open hat there. Really simple. And this is the kick pattern. And as you can see, like the beat is like really simple. But if you listen to the structure of this beat, this is the structure. Now, I've got another part where I add some kind of strings, but I really don't think that's essential for a beat like this. I just noticed, for example, when Kodak was coming in on his verse, they added some kind of just really simple strings that also followed the root notes. So I'll just give you guys a little preview of that. So as you can see, the velocities are really low. We want them really subtle. See what I mean? So now I'll play that in context. If you want to look at the mix, this is sort of one working with. So we've got the bass there. Bass is hitting quite loud. Like minus 4.5. Melody's hitting about minus 15. Got the hi hat there about minus 18. But peak up to minus 15 depending on velocity. Snare nice and prominent. Same with the kick. And here I think we get the pitch switch. And it just sounds so nice. And to be honest, I just love the DJ. It just really adds a nice way to drop. So that is into the, the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, you can leave a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought of it. And obviously make sure you subscribe so you stay up to date with all the produce content here. Um, but that is pretty much it from me. Hope you guys can take some tips and gems from this one. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And I'll play a little preview now. Yo, Jade of Senate Pack.